give you one more and we'll pick up here next time principle number six to be successful you must have the principle of prayer everybody say prayer you know the word prayer is a strange word it means to commune with it's the word common union common union communion why do you need to have prayer to be successful because prayer keeps you in common union with the one who gave you the dream Secondly, prayer also revives your reserves when you are tired and worn out by the fight. You see, when you persist, you will get tired. So you need to be able to run to the one who gave you the dream and they can say to you, keep going. You know, prayer to me is like a boxer. You ever seen a championship boxer, how they fight? I was watching uh, uh, the boxing matches over the years and and the champions of boxing matches are usually the person who you see in the newspapers or on television and they're always smiling with a belt around their waist and they're on the top of the people's shoulders like this. You ever seen that? And they always show you the picture of the champion with the belt on his waist or the belt in his hand. I mean, that's the picture you see of the champion. But they don't show you pictures of the 12 rounds and the six he lost. You know, championship fighting or championship work does not come without a few rounds where you fail. You know, because you fail in the fifth round, you don't tell the, the coach that's it. And some of you failed in certain things that you tried. Listen, learn lessons from life. The boxer who stands out there, his eyes are swollen, his teeth are all bloody, his feet are tired. His limbs are beaten and battered. You know what he does after the ninth round? He stumbles back into the corner, could hardly stand. You ever seen them do that? And I mean, they, they finally go, and when they reach the corner, just go, oh, and suddenly someone puts a stool under them and they sit down. And I can almost hear them saying, I ain't going back out there. Forget it. And the coach suddenly begins to do something. He's sitting there, his eyes are swollen, all of his head and everything hurting, blood everywhere. All of a sudden, someone puts a stool on him to ease his legs. That's what prayer is like. It's like going to the quiet place after life has beaten you real good and God puts a stool under you. And you sit down. You say, yes, Lord, it's hurting. God knows it's hurting. But that's the way to the belt. That's the route to victory. And then suddenly, someone takes a sponge full of cool water and they squeeze it over the boxer's head. And that cool water going over his head, his eyes, his shoulders, suddenly he begins to come back to life. I call that the washing of water by the word. When you get into prayer, God begins to give you the fresh revelation of the word. He begins to remind you, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Say, come on God, pour it on. He begins to wash you with the word after you've been beaten by life. And then suddenly you feel a hand over your eyebrow with some oil and ointment, some grease, and they rub it in. And you begin to feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit says, yes, I've never left you. I'm still with you. You are struggling, but I'm with you. You're going to come through this. And then suddenly you feel some arms on your shoulders and they begin to massage your muscles. And you hear the voice saying, now listen, that was pretty close. He got you that time, but you could beat him. I know you could get him. Just hang in there. Now hold your left hand up and keep your left hand jabbing, all right? And all of a sudden, you begin to feel, yeah, I could get him. And you remember, say, come on, let's fight again. Ain't that what life is all about? Come on, give the Lord a hand. That's what prayer is. That's why we go to the closet. We stumble into God's presence. After everybody left you, after every bank said no, after you've been told by everybody you'll never make it, you come back into God's presence and you sit on the stool and you say, help. And when you come back out of the closet, you say, come on, devil, let's try it again. That's how you do it. Huh? You need prayer to be successful. These principles are only a few. But if you follow them, success is guaranteed. 
Study all the great men and women in history, in the Bible, or even outside of it, and see how they conquered life, how they made it successful through all the alternatives and all the pressure. First of all, what did they have? Purpose. That's the first P. They knew what they were born to do. Secondly, they had what? Passion. To be successful, you need to have passion for living. And thirdly, they had a plan. They had a specific, concrete, direct, intentional plan for their lives. And fourthly, you need what? People. You need people. You need the right people around you to be successful in your life. And number five, you need to be persistent. That means don't accept no as an answer. Always interpret no as wait. And number six, you need prayer. You need to have a common daily communion with God. The one who gave you purpose will also provide the encouragement along the way. Success is guaranteed for people who are willing to stand and fight for what is theirs. And believe me, friends, there are more who are with you, who are with you than who are against you. Because if God be with you, then who can be against you? And if God be for you, then who can resist you? Paul says, what can separate us from what God has loved us into? Can things present? Can things in the past? Can things in heaven or earth? or under the earth can death can life no he says for in all these things we are more than conquerors you believe i give him a hand today we are more than conquerors through him who gives us strength i want to thank you for joining us today and i believe that what god has given us today is enough to take us to the end of our lives Hi, thank you so much for watching. Please remember you can support our work on our Patreon page and you get access to exclusive content and full videos. And please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and click the notification bell to be the first to receive newer content. Please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends to be a blessing to them.